here. Capona with just six on the shot clock. Kapow Gasol, who, by the way, made a three the other night, if you didn't notice. And he hits his first jumper. And it's Here's Butler. Shot on the way. Going to be off. Rebound is loose for rebounds if he wants it. Hey, ride it up and miss. Rebound. Bam! For the foul slam. Nice to see him get it because he is really good at the end of the shot clock. This was a physical matchup the other night as Powell just looks in the face. In the court. It's too granted it was an exhibition game, but that's as good as we've seen Chauncey Phillips the other night in a couple of years. He was nearly flawless. Sunday, Sunday we start with the regular season. Powell, a little bit of a weave to Ebanks, two in a row, in and out, settles back in for five for six. Into Andrew, tacking in on DeAndre Jordan. Now the double comes. Andrew, step up and under, slam it home on the baseline. They're not in play with a little more hunger and desire here tonight. But, uh, we get another chance to see how Andrew anchors that pivot foot, which was his right foot, and did a good job of just that. Deep fish, his first shot of his this season, and it's short. Oh, good pass by Powell. Underneath, count it, and the foul, and Derek Fisher will go to the line. He maybe come up with a steal. He finds Derek wide open three-point opportunity. That's the way you attack CP3 because there's a reason why he's one of the leaders in steals every year. He sneaks in on those bigs and uh, out of Capono, one of the greatest three-point shooters in NBA history and the numbers uh, bear that out. Ebanks, fall away is good. He's got three baskets. You've got to be ready to play when he's on the floor. Clippers shooting 60%, Lakers shooting 80%. Howes alone on the baseline. Got it. Mike Brown is trying to make sure everybody understands where they're supposed to be in health situation is Devin Ebanks lighting it up and pow will pow just being pow. That wrist is a little bit too valuable to take the wrist tonight. Torn ligament in his uh, right wrist. Here's Ebanks trying to make it four out of five and he rattles it home. Second, third, fourth fiddle the other night, but he's coming out and asserting himself here. Half a dozen underneath. Man, look out. Andrew Bynum. Chris Ball is saying that. Uh, DeAndre Jordan reminds him a little bit of Tyson Chandler defensive MVP. Hey. Like Griffin couldn't get it, and the Lakers muscle it up and in. World Peace trying to go hard to the rack, gets himself in trouble. Kicks it back out to Steve Blake, still trying to find that shot. Found right there for a finish. Meta, whose legs just weren't there, shooting the ball the other day. There he is, not shy at all. Down lock, no rebound to Roberts. Yes, his chemistry. Well, 224 to go here in the first quarter, and again another competitive first quarter as the Lakers lead it 30-26. Getting their offensive punch from their front court, just as we expected. Led by Powell, who stroking it very, very efficiently. He's knocked down three out of three. And Andrew Bynum, dominating on the inside. He's four out of five. It's easy to make shots when you're getting dunks, but the surprise, maybe it's not a surprise. Devin Ebanks. Four. Just uh, couldn't get the ring with LeBron and that uh, squad. Murphy, three-pointer, two in a row for Steve Blake. With 15 on the shot clock, under a minute to play here in the quarter. Once again, highly competed. Exact same spot. As we get another look at Steve Blake, same spot, but the same results. I mean, he is knocked down all three. Nobody stops him. He is that good. We played one quarter, and the Lakers lead it by three. Now stay tuned for the Carl Jr. Do things uh, with an injury that nobody else possibly could do. In position to do some damage. That's a good look inside. You know, it seems like Meta does a good job, a better job, I should say, finishing with his left hand in the post area than he does with his 68% to 66% from the floor. That says something about the defense. Yeah, exactly. Brian Cook, who shot it pretty well the other day, and a find in Tompkins, and they can use some bigs. Jout lock, bad decision, gets bailed out. This is in Murphy's range, and he knocks it home. To the timeout. 8.37 to go in the half. Lakers still on top as Troy Murphy gives them a three-point advantage. Three for five. Powell posting up, working on Brian Cook, can do some damage against this guy. Left hand, he's got such a great repertoire. Oh, and look down low with 18, something they want to try and get done. Goudlock getting his opportunity here tonight. Just let the fly and rolling it in for a three. The New York Warriors. Well, Williams, uh, uh, that Jackson was, coach. That was a discontinued dribble. But a block by Andrew Biden. And found the double team. A little scramble mode right now for the Lakers. If they get it over to Fisher, still plenty of time on the clock. Under the bottom, score, foul, count it. From both ends of the floor. By Andrew Bynum, first the block. Just blocks it for a teammate, can get it, and then takes it, scores it, three-point opportunity. 
Leonard just with a slow dribble. Working one on one. Here he goes. Throws it up. Was that a pass? I hope so. Uh, the last basket by the Lakers. We get another chance to determine whether it was a shot or a pass. As Ron goes up. And I don't know. Maybe it was a pass. Good. It's been a week last year and then had a horrible February of 2 and 12. And that uh, broke their fate. Here's Fish. Had a room off. Great pass. The pass. Great pass to Andrew Bynum. Lakers on a 10 3 run after the throwdown. DeAndre Jordan blocked by Bynum. Great play by Andrew. Likes to block shots. You get in there, just find his man because he's coming to block it. Fish says, I see you, big fella, and I see my big fella also. Gives him the pass, gets the easy dunk. Good now the Laker fans let themselves be known here at Staples Center. Andrew Bynum, strong, underneath, scores! Threes the other night. Well, Andrew Bynum making his presence felt tonight as DeAndre Jordan says, what you going to do? Andrew says, watch. At the crazies in the evening. <laughs> we'll be dealing with them in Denver. How about the game something. so far for Andrew? The Clippers are having to deal with Andrew Bynum, and they're not doing a very good job of it thus far, as he's got 17 points on eight out of nine shooting. I know all of his are in close, but that's what you want. Have to fire it up here. The shot clock is at 10, 18 on the game clock. Underneath the Powell, he's alone. He scores back into the floor. There were a couple of breaks down defensively, but offensively, they uh, stayed with the game plan. And Andrew Bynum uh, really was effective. When you make 80% of your shots, he was eight out of 10. Sure, they're high percentage shots, but you still got to put yourself in a position. A champ of the dunking contest, Gerald Green. He was in it a couple of times. He had that famous cupcake dunk also. And there's a beautiful little lob hook. 37-year-old Derek Fisher, 16 years in the league. Oh, spin move by Andrew Bynum. It was his first. Defensively, when you got a short clock, you want to make him. At like, that time, he should have stepped away from Andrew. Let Andrew take a, a, a and that frees him up for the high percentage shot. You see, saw the lead. Clippers lead by one. Derek comes off the pick and not shake, create, short. In the air, Fish has got it. Underneath, and he throws it in. That's one of his shots. Corner, now they work the offense inside where they want it. Andrew Bynum, he gets his own rebound. That's a good. Those on your back, it's hard to jump as high as before. And Andrew does a good job of getting the offensive rebound, putting it right back up, and scoring. From the field to go along with 10 rebounds, so double-double in hand. I think the Lakers ought to do more of getting it to him earlier in the shot clock. What they're doing is waiting and waiting too long for their first entry pass to the post, and that doesn't give you any time. Got just over a minute and a quarter. Blake corner. Doesn't hesitate. In river. He knocks down a three, Steve Blake. What you do? Get to Jordan early and make him shoot a shot and not a dunk. Blake finds the open man. Galbach, he's got a three. Observer in the building. Kobe Bean, Bryant. Meta. Does he still have it in him to be a suffocate? Oh, Steve Lake. Coach wants him to push the ball, and he does all the way. Could have laid it up, but he kicks it out for a three. Penetrate, pick. As the Clips have opened up an advantage thanks to that disastrous third quarter, Lakers trying to clean things up here in the fourth. Trail 86 79. 18 points tonight. Powell backing in. Lakers will probably finish this game without Andrew Bynum as they get set to play. About a uh, miscommunication. Yeah, Andrew looking around. Help me. Murphy, he can do this. Got it. Preseason games. Troy Murphy, we talked about his ability to step out on the floor. He scores with 25. Bynum leads the Lakers with 23. Again, no Kobe tonight if you're joining us late. Here's World Peace. Here's it's been the Blake show, as they've called it here in the second half. Matt Barnes for three. They need it. They get it. Three-point land and five out of eight overall. So seven out of his eight shots have been from behind the arc, and he's made the most of them. That's a good, good sign because he struggled from that distance last year. And it'd be nice to see, and uh, that way he doesn't have to score up as much, and he can get the shot off a lot quicker. The mended patellar tendon looks real good. He's trying to answer back, and he does. He was uh, supposedly a shooter. Uh, Capono did not take a shot tonight and only played 12 minutes. Something maybe the Lakers could have used.